I love the ease of my world I love knowing what I know about vibration I love knowing that it's about frequency and that I can focus I love the ease that I'm able to frequently accomplish I love setting this time aside in order to find this feeling of ease I so love knowing the laws of the universe I so love understanding my vibrational nature I so love my understanding of focus and momentum I love that I can begin this day in a vibration of well-being and ease I really like knowing the sources surrounding me and everyone else that all who I love is surrounded by this ease I love activated into myself in a way that I recognize it and can feel it fully and really own it I love knowing that I will be guided to perfect thoughts and behaviors when timing is perfect for doing that and meanwhile I sit in ease and eagerness and appreciation for all that is to come I'm happy about where I stand and eager about what's coming I know that there are many who are seeking what I'm coming to know and I'm so pleased that I'm demonstrating it in my own experience in a way that it will be evident in all regards to those who behold me I feel so happy that I'm able to leave conditions out of the equation of my ease that I'm able to just find ease by the power of my focus I so adore non-physical energy who I believe is flowing with ease and perfection around all that is I love contemplating that there is this atmosphere of well-being that is focused to all of us and to the degree that we find ease and allow it in we are experiencing this well-being I just love it when my ease begins to expand when I begin to feel the momentum of my vibration increasing to where I begin to feel a sort of eagerness about things not an eagerness that inspires me to action right now but an eagerness of what's coming a sort of optimistic renewal is happening within me and while I know that the timing of action isn't quite yet I know it is coming and meanwhile I feel comfortable in this optimism that is beginning to build within me it feels to me as if I have access the power that creates worlds and I'm able to focus it and I'm loving learning the balance of that focusing because as I focus with alignment I can feel that I continue to allow the energy to flow to me and through me it is so exciting to me to get into this place of utter well-being and then to begin shining it through my focus in the direction of things that matter to me and I'm adoring this understanding of this unconditional love and focus and energy that's coming to me and I'm finding my way bit by bit I'm finding myself more capable of not putting conditions in my way that block this energy flow I know that I'm getting the handle on this energy flow and I know that I am proficient more proficient in every day as a result of my focus sometimes I get excited and I want to run out ahead of it but always when that feeling comes I can feel uneasiness sort of guide me a little bit and I realize that not quite yet don't act quite yet sit in the knowing of this yet longer find the vibrational alignment of it and watch how my desire is inspiring others to behavior I'm now understanding that my desire does not mean only that I will be inspired to the action that there will then make change I understand that my desire and my holding of this place causes more of a likelihood for others to find the same and the same and the same so it is a larger movement than me just tapping in and doing something about it it's me priming the pump it's me setting the tone it's me finding the place of it it's me shining the light it's me asking the questions it's me readying myself and then it's me watching the results of having accomplished that vibrational environment every day I love finding this place and every day I love watching the results of the place that I found and I am eager to get out and watch that greater expansion and watch the details of that but meanwhile I'm just watching what's happening in my world right here around me right here around me as I show myself this leverage that I am activating as I tap into this energy that creates worlds 
I believe with everything that I am that I can be or do or have anything that I can influence anything that I desire and I'm so appreciative of the life experience that I have lived that's caused me to focus upon some things that are really important to me and right now I can feel that this is my step three moment this is when I really understand what allowing source energy to flow to me and through me is and I'm eager to get on with step four and I'm doing it a little bit every day but step three is where I reside right now this is the work for me to do so there's no impatience on my part because there isn't anything for me to do I'm not being called to do something I'm not ready to do in fact I will never be called to do something that I'm not ready to do and when I try to push myself to do something that I'm not ready to do that's where the vibrational imbalance comes in so nice to know that source has my back so nice to know that the things that matter to me are underway and so nice to know that my work is to hold this place to hold this knowing and not try to take the role of source not try to be all things to all people not try to be the heart of any movement in the sense of action but be to be the vibrational heart of the movement that is being asked for by the masses I understand that I'm not the only one who put desire in my vortex there are hundreds of thousands and millions and billions of people who have put desire in their vortex that I am helping as I find and own this vibrational place of allowing source energy to do what source energy knows how to do I'm in the right place at the right time doing the right thing and I'm loving my exposure to this life and what it provides for me every feeling that you have is only about one thing and that's the relationship between the thought that the source within you is thinking about this and what you're thinking about this in other words it's just a basis uh, agreement or disagreement of opinion of life so focus for a moment on the concept of trajectory and think about the trajectory that source is on relative to you success joy and think about the trajectory that you might be on in any moment in time so think source and think trajectory and then think momentum trajectory momentum so by that we mean think trajectory momentum meaning general less momentum specific more momentum so think about source who has been we're talking about the you the source of you we're talking about the source that is dovetail with you so think about the incredible amount of details that source has lived with you and think about how specifically magnificent source knows that you are oh can't even find words to explain it but you you don't feel that way a lot of the time because you haven't been harmonizing with source you've been harmonizing with your mother and with your peer groups and with your yeah. you've been you've been trying to get appreciation and attention from you've been looking for love in all the wrong places so feel source trajectory and momentum feel what source must be feeling about you so let's say that source knows your brilliance knows your incredible abundance knows all of these things about you but you don't know them because you've been practicing a different thought so you're thinking really differently than source is thinking about you so you just can't get there every time you try to get hold of it you just beat up on yourself more so then you say well would I rather feel fear or happiness happiness you just aligned with source would I rather feel confusion or clarity clarity you just aligned with source now you just aligned with source sources momentum what source knows about you is moving way faster you're not ready for that but you just aligned with source Would I rather love you or hate you I'd rather love you even though I hate you but I would I would rather love you when I, I would I would rather love you would I rather have fun or be miserable would I rather 
So as you play this game, we know it feels silly to you, and you, you just do the easy part. You align with source, 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 and now you've aligned with source, there's no contradiction in your vibration. And when there's no contradiction in your vibration, you move the momentum. It just has to happen that way because without resistance, you've got speed, you've got momentum. You see, that's the way you do it. Source knows that you can be or do or have anything. And you don't know that because this didn't go well and this didn't go well and this isn't going well and that's not going well. It's almost impossible for you to find any harmony over there. You're just, you're, it's not likely to do it. But if you understand the physics of the laws, if you understand law of attraction and you do, and you understand the concept of momentum and you do, and you can tell the difference between something that's general and something that's specific. And you can put the word momentum into that concept. And then you can acknowledge, Hey, I can align with source. If I don't have to convince myself that black is white and that white is black and the good is bad and that bad is good. And there's, if I don't have to work through all of it, if you just make yourself nuts out there, out there in the weeds, as you try to sort all of this stuff out there, all you got to do is find alignment with source and source will take you on the path of non-resistance to the details that you have carved out every single time. Alignment is the best word and let's add more words to it. Alignment, harmony path path so have we convinced you that you were born on this path of well-being and can you feel how as you tune yourself to the path the easy way the easy way the easy way you're 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 looking for good feelings you're looking for fun you're looking for clarity you're not trying to change conditions over to in order to find that you're finding it early in the day before the conditions have distracted you from that. And you've practiced the feeling of that until law of attraction has taken you into more and more conditions and manifestations that support how you want to feel. So now, so now you're mostly feeling pretty good. You're just loving for no good reason. You're just feeling calm for no conditional reason. You just are because it feels better. So you, are on the same vibrational wavelengths with source. And then the things that you've been asking for can be realized by you because you are on the same vibrational wavelength. And then the details of that, that's the realization of that is what causes the momentum to become more and more and more. In other words, can you feel the momentum increasing from these words, energy, vibration thoughts words action can you feel moment in other words isn't there isn't there more momentum in action than there is word and isn't there more momentum in word than there is thought so if you take the time to line up before you start talking and before mm. you start acting then the momentum that you add will be on track and you're going to right now if this may just feel conceptual to you but we promise you it is the absolute fact of the vibrational universe and how it works so as you focus there it will prove itself to you over and over and over again until in a really short time we're talking about just a few days you'll know